This is Luis Sandoval, fighthype.com here with Kevin Cunningham. First of all, talk to me about this fight. Virgil's up there saying you guys kind of know each other. Is it a little tough for you with a personal angle, or is that something you can easily put aside? Oh, no, you put that aside. We're all professionals. I mean, Virgil's my man. We've been friends. We're like family, you know. I mean, Andre Ward, I've been watching him fight since he was 12 years old. I mean, this is business. And talk to me about Amir Khan and the, the opponent. You're, but break him down for me. How do you assess him in, in a fight and as a fighter? Uh, I think he's, he's one of the best fighters out there. He's one of the best welterweights in the division. Uh, he's, he's, he's definitely skillful, highly skillful, fast fighter. But there's some uh, mistakes that I think he makes, and I think we'll be able to exploit them. And uh, that's what we're looking to do. Have you been studying any of Amir's fights, <clears throat> particularly maybe Judo, or when he faces Southpaw, to kind of get an idea of what you're going to be dealing with on fight night? Yeah, um, you know, I've, I watched the Judo fight. I watched his last fight, you know. I watched the fight with uh, Lamont Peterson, Madonna. So I've, I've watched a lot of uh, con fights. Coach, I just talked to Devin Alexander. I said, hey, what makes Kevin Cunningham so good as a trainer? Is, it, is, is he a boxing mind? He goes, let me tell you, Kevin Cunningham could watch a fight once and come back with a scouting report every flaw that fighter had. Devin didn't even know how you do it. How do you do it? How do you watch one fight and break down a fight? Well, you can, you can if, you, if you know what you're looking at and you know what you're, you're looking for, I mean, you can watch, you can watch a fight and you can see where the flaws are you could see you could see habits you know uh that's what i look for you know you know what does a guy do before he does a certain thing and if he if, if he's repetitive in in certain situations so i mean i look for things like that Kevin alexander told me that he doesn't get enough credit for his power how hard does he hit strong never strong i mean he's not he's not a one punch knockout artist but he's strong and if he catches anybody right, it's it's a good chance that they'll go down. How come he had success against Maidana and Matisse, where almost nobody else had? Because, for one, he 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 has the skill set. For two, he had the right game plan, and he stuck to it. If he fights Manny Pacquiao, how do you beat Pacquiao? Uh, I mean, Devin. Is a great counter puncher, and who does Pacquiao have the worst? Forty rounds with Marquez. Right. So you know, there you go. Okay. You, you have to time Pacquiao. You know, and I think Amir Khan is another guy that, if he, you, 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 you know, he's fast, but he's fast and kind of out of control with it, and if you time him. You can, you can put him in a position that you need to put him in. Devin wins this fight. He's beaten a lot of great names already, but this would, would this be the defining or biggest fight of his career, or do you think he already had that with a bigger one before? Uh, I think this is the biggest fight of his career right now. It'll be the biggest win. Yeah, it definitely will be the biggest win.